Hello YouTube, it's Das Gregor, and welcome to a second Impressions of Elementary OS. Now what I am looking at is Freya.3 Beta, and I make that distinction because this isn't the final product, this is still considered unstable, but it is a snapshot for developers and testers to take a look at the product and to also help them find problems that might be in it and give them feedback. Now so far it's still looking pretty good and I was asked by one of my subs to take a look at it and so now that it's out there and I was able to grab an ISO I have installed it and let's take a look at elementary OS Freya point three. The installation was pretty good. Um, I'm trying to think about when I installed it. I did run into a few problems where everything was going along perfectly fine, and then all of a sudden the screen kind of blanked out, and my the only thing that I could see was my mouse kind of flashing and the hard drive was kind of going and I was really close to the end of it. Now, something like that happens and you're like, oh man, yeah, I don't want to start over. So I just kind of let it sit there for a while till I noticed that there was pretty much no more activity on the system looking at that activity light, hard drive, etc. And then I went ahead and did an ungraceful shutdown. Now that's why I bring up the point this is beta there's always bound to be a bug or two in a beta because they're still testing I'm sure that will be resolved that was the only hiccup I had when I rebooted the system I was able to get into elementary without an issue one of the first things that I did was I did an update of software to just make sure it had the latest of everything on there that they had made changes to. There were a few things and it took care of it and installed them. No problems. And as I've said, other than a few things here and there, it's been pretty nice. Now, what is the purpose of Elementary OS, you may ask? Well, the developers have done a great job to bring you an elegant, well-designed Linux desktop that has the stability of Ubuntu with all of the software that Ubuntu has to offer. So they have everything from thousands of free applications to also some paid applications. And it's very easy to find those if you go into the software center. Now one thing that is a little difficult to get used to with EOS at least for me and that is their window management. As you can see there is a pretty much a maximize button here in the corner their close button is over here on the left that throws me all the time because I'm used to all my windows having their management over here and as you notice there's no minimize the only way that you can minimize right click and click on minimize I don't particularly care for that, but it is a design feature that I suppose you could get used to if you like the design. Everything else, you know, if I had to describe elementary OS in one word, maybe two words, elegant, crisp. That's what really is my first impression when I look at elementary OS. So we move on here. This is, of course, the software center. And if you're a Ubuntu user, you're probably very familiar with this. You can see that there are applications here that cost money. There are things that are free. It gives you the best of both worlds. If you don't mind paying for software, you can find software that's been developed that you know is going to work. I personally, I prefer to look for an open source solution first but you know I am not against finding a good piece of software that works well 
giving the developer some money and paying for it either. It's a good way of giving back to someone who's developing software for Linux and I personally would much prefer to support a Linux developer making closed software if it's closed and, and most of the time when it's paid for I tend to find that the soft the open the uh, source code I'm sorry isn't exactly open source so it is what it is but you know I've said that for years in regards to DVD playback software you know you have to use different libraries that you could say are kosher or unkosher to use so that you can play back DVDs in Linux. Well, if someone would just build a legal closed source DVD reading player, I wouldn't have a problem paying a couple bucks so I could have something that the industry wouldn't frown at and complain about. You know, instead we've got to use things like libdvd CSS and things like that to make that work. But onward and upward as we go. There are lots of applications you can change your sorting to. If you don't want to see anything that costs money, you can change that. You know, what's provided by elementary, what's provided by the conical partners for purchase, etc. Now I have added the simple screen recorder. Um, software and it's a very simple add-on to get into your store of course it's a free player as what I use to record my screen now I did notice that there are some bugs with elementary OS and the way simple screen recorder works up here you'll notice for instance when I right click on there and I was doing my tests making sure everything was working I can hit pause I can hit cancel I can hit save nothing happens it just keeps on recording so I found that while I do have an icon up here, it doesn't work. No big deal. I'm sure when the proper version of Elementary Freo comes out, that will be something that works just fine. Anything that you'd ever want to look for, if you wanted to look for LibreOffice, for instance, you'll see that things come up, and let's see if we can finish that there. Now, you'll also notice here, that we have the applications that you can install if you want to just you know that one for instance now I've gone ahead and installed the full suite because I wanted to test it make sure it worked before giving you guys some sort of an overview um, so I've got all of these already installed not you know all of these up here already installed now I was able to just pack, pick one package and install it well, it was a big one it was 144 megs to download the whole suite but you'll also notice for instance they've got some guides that you can buy to help you learn how to use LibreOffice as well if we look at the applications that EOS comes with if you will I installed of course the GUVC viewer for screen um, webcam I installed the LibreOffice applications here as well and simple screen recorder right here. The rest of what you see comes with elementary. It is sporting the Midori web browser and everything else works so far pretty well. I've tried out their music, I've tried out the pictures, their video, everything worked very easily to get into my NAS drive to get to my media and be able to play those all that works if you need to set up changes and do general configurations here is their little control panel and so far everything that I've gone in here and messed with such as there are certain personalized tweaks I like with my touchpad I don't like how some scrolling works and I'm able to go right in there and change that and make it so that it is nicer for myself Everything else about elementary seems to be simple to use, clean in such a clean interface, and like I said, crisp. I have found on the internet and doing some research that you can go around and you can change a little bit of these to make it so that you can have a minimize and maximize. And I'm sure too you could use a different theme if you didn't like that feature. 
Elementary OS is simple to use and simple to install and I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube that people really enjoy the simplicity and elegance that Elementary OS has to offer. Installing software, of course, if you're not too familiar since I already have that, it didn't come with a GIMP. So let's look to see if we can find the GIMP in here. There it is. Very simple. We just click on the install button here. It will ask for your password, of course, here in a moment or two. There we go. We'll pop that in there. Authenticate, and it should finish downloading and install the GIMP very quick and simply. Once that's there, we can take a look at it. Now, I haven't looked at other browsers, but I'm sure that Chromium is probably an option since I have not had problem. There it is, Chromium. And if you're a Firefox enthusiast, I'm sure you can find Firefox as well, and there it is. So as you can see, there are many, oh dear, I am working on my laptop that is very finicky about its wireless. Let's hope that didn't mess up my in-progress uh, GIMP installation. It should be popping up here back as soon as we get some network connectivity. I do like how it kind of does that little pop when I lose my network connectivity because sometimes this laptop can be a little bit of a pain. It's an older a uh, laptop about four or five years old and it does have a wireless issue that because it's an 18.4 inch if I flex just right it causes the uh, the wireless to, to disconnect itself and I have to push the little button there and that causes all kinds of issues and headaches alright well let's see if we can look at history here and see what we Okay, there's the GIMP help. It says it installed in GIMP. Take a quick look here at the applications. And there we go. We've got GIMP quickly and efficiently installed. Starts up relatively quickly, as quick as it can be. And there we are. Plain and simple. Easy peasy. <laughs> Well, I hope you've enjoyed Elementary OS. Just a short video on this. Uh, as I said, this is beta, so you are bound to find one or two issues. Uh, but I'm sure once the final product does come out, it will have all of those little things taken care of. They have a great website that you can go to, and in their announcements, there are many places that you can look to see if the bug that you might have found has been addressed also right here there is a report a problem so if you do decide to use Freya 0.3 beta and you do find a bug you can go in there and you can see if it's already been reported and if not you can help them out by reporting the bug yourself and as I say with a lot of distributions if you find that you find a distribution that you like and that you are using on a regular basis always try to give them some sort of support whether that's buying something that's in their store giving them a donation you know Linux can be a thankless job and I do appreciate the developers that are out there building different flavors of Linux and giving them to the public in the spirit that Linux was created being free and open source and available to all Thank you all for watching. If it's morning, evening, noon, or night, whatever you're having, I hope you enjoy it. Have a good one, and we will talk to you all later. Bye, guys.